I just finished a really hard workout. It was quite gruesome. It was quite awful, to be honest with you. So much so that a buddy of mine is over here on the sidewalk right now, vomiting on the sidewalk. That's about what it's like when you face weakness in life. You might just vomit something that needs to get dealt with. I'm reminded of a story of a young lady, a young mom, great wife, great person. We're having a conversation with her, my wife and I, and her husband and herself. And we asked them, what is, the, what is the strongest feeling you have about yourself? What's the prevailing thought you have about you? And she said, I don't belong. And we asked her, where, did, where do you think that came from? And she told stories about childhood and she said, you know, I, I never fit into a clique. I never did. Every grade, I was the person, if someone didn't fit into a clique, they would come to me and we would have a great friendship. If someone got kicked out of a clique, that person would come to me and we would have friendship. We asked her, you know, what is the truth of your life? The lie that you don't belong, but that's a lie. What's the truth? Usually the truth is parked right next door to the lie. And she thought about it for a few moments and she finally said, the truth is I help people belong. What a dramatic change in perspective. Instead of going into every room thinking, oh, I don't belong because of fill in the blank. Instead to go into every room in your life thinking, who do I help belong in this room? Who in this room needs someone to help them belong? What an amazing perspective change. But see, these perspective changes, these, these life revelations, they happen when we are willing to face weakness. You see, oftentimes if, if a person feels like I don't belong, they'll try too hard to please people to get people to like them, and that doesn't work. Facing weakness sometimes is just having an open heart with someone else who's willing to have an open heart and have an open conversation. And in such a short conversation, she had such a life-transforming conversation. There's such purpose through weakness, but only if we're willing to face it.